Hello, this is a short video that I'm making just to show the latest board that we've made uh, lately, which uses our sensors, all our sensors pretty much that we uh, just came up with. On this board we have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to point that out. So over here we have a gyro and Excel uh, sensor. This is the pressure sensor, atmospheric pressure, barometric. The uh, UV sensor, UV index sensor. Over here in the corner we have the humidity and temperature sensor. And over there we have the magnetometer for magnetic field reading. Uh, this pad here is the uh, Bluetooth radio, Bluetooth low energy with the two crystals, 32 kilohertz, 16 megahertz, the antenna right there. And uh, this is the uh, STM32, our microprocessor. Uh, for that one, we used the F301 that was good enough for that board. Um, that is basically the battery charger, so battery management with uh, voltage detection and everything. Uh, a couple of buttons here and, uh, and a few LEDs. The battery is in the back. Uh, we don't have any components in the back, so that's what we have. Um, Basically what we're doing here is streaming the data out of that board and uh, we made that application on the an Android phone here where we can show all the data being streamed and so if I shake the board just a tiny bit I go through that motion wake up sequence and I start streaming the data so as you can see on this we have the RSSI which we added so signal strands a uh, couple of information, temperature, humidity, pressure, UV, accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer. A couple of features embedded in the accelerometer, we are also showing that, which are um, pedometer, double tap, single tap, free fall, activity, no activity, uh, significant motion, uh, they all uh, built in into the device. So that's what we have. Uh, it's a tiny little board. Um, we're going to make ref two of this board, which will be, uh, should be about two thirds of this. And we're going to incorporate two more sensors on it, uh, such as the microphone. So a couple of microphones to do beamforming and um, a proximity sensor using the time of flight device. And that's what we have. All right, thank you very much.